Have you ever wondered how to install a new font on your computer to, to use in your projects? Well, I had to do that for a video project that I was working on and I wasn't sure how to do it. I found out and now I'm going to show you how. Okay, so it's actually quite easy. Let me just give you a bit of a background. I was working on a project in Adobe Premiere. I was editing a video that I uh, did uh, a while back. Uh, it was actually some footage that I took with my drone. And um, I wanted to install a font to use uh, for the title. And I didn't have the font in uh, Premiere. Basically, it was the Helvetica font and I was able to install it to use in Premiere. I'm going to show you how to, to do the same. So first of all, there's a great place where you can get free fonts and it's to be found at uh, the URL www.download-free-fonts.com. So I'm on the website now and I'm just going to uh, find a font that is currently not on the computer and I'll show you how you can install it to use with Premiere or really with any program that you want to use it with. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, search for a font that uh, will work. Since the video that I shot was taken with my Phantom 3, I think just uh, as an example here, I will use the word Phantom. Let's see if there are any fonts that are called Phantom. And there are. Uh, there are a few Phantom fonts. And uh, not this one for sure. I'm not going to use that. But the one that I kind of like is probably the first one here. I'm actually not going to use this. It's a bit gaudy. But just as an example to show you how to install a font, I'm going to download this one. So you click on it and it uh, tells you some information about the font and at the very bottom of the page here, it gives you the option to download Phantom Ghost font. So click on that. And the site wants you to donate some money. If you wish, you can donate a bit of money to the site so they can keep going. You save the font on your computer. And here it is, Phantom Ghost. Now you'll notice that the extension here, let me just go to the folder where it's located now. So it's in my download folder. And you'll notice that the extension here is TTF. As far as I know, in order to use a font in Adobe Premiere, you have to basically have true type font. So it has to have the TTF extension. All right, now, this is called Phantom Ghost. I'm going to open up Premiere and I'm going to create a new title here just to show you that Phantom Ghost is not installed. So I'm going to go to, to title, create the title here, and I'm going to just put here test as an example. And I'm going to be looking for Phantom font. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that this font is not here. Go all the way down, all the way up, but the font, Phantom font is not installed. Definitely not installed. All right, so at this point, I am just going to close off Premiere. I'm going to delete this title here because I don't really need it. I'm going to save the project. I'm going to close Premiere. I'm going to go to the area where I where I downloaded the font, which is basically my downloads folder. I'm going to right click on it and I will go to install. And that will automatically install the font. So it's very easy. Right click on the font go to the install option and the font will be installed. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Premiere and open the project that I had opened before. And we'll see if the font, the phantom font is 
uh, available for use. All right, so now that we're back in uh, Adobe Premiere, I'm going to create another title, a new title, and I'm going to see if the Phantom Ghost font is there. So I'll just uh, create a test title and I'm going to look for Phantom and there it is. Phantom Ghost is, is here now and it looks like it has worked. So we can change the the font size we can do all the various things that uh, we might want to do with this particular font. And that's how you uh, bring a new font into Adobe Premiere. And by the way, as I said earlier, you can use this font in any document that um, you want to on your computer. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.